Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The God is faithful by whom we were called to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. Every day that the Lord gives us is an opportunity, is a time of commitment, is a time for success. It makes a difference. It creates a meaning in our lives. No matter what you're going through right now, no matter what is happening, know that every day creates a greater meaning in your life, a better meaning in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, um, this particular prophetic word is something that is going to be so surprising to you. And at the same time, um, this is this is going to be like, okay, another person is like this is surprising to me like this is going on oh seriously wow so another person is going to be um i knew it but i just needed to confirm it so that is how it's going to go please if you've seen me for your very first time my name is ethel betangba and this is prayers and the prophetic with pastor ethel you are very much welcome in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you've been family of Cassie, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer is that God rewards your consistency. Hey, let me tell you something. God rewards consistency. I say it again. God rewards consistency. It doesn't matter what you've been doing. Now, for example... You see this particular phone, okay, for example. Now, if you keep hitting this phone, like you hit just like this, not, not even hard, just like this, like this, okay. Now, if you continue to do this for like, let's say six months, something is going to happen to the phone. Something is going to happen to this particular area. That's what I'm talking about. Every day you're, you hit it. For, for like for a particular like let's say 30 minutes to one hour you come back again you hit it 30 minutes to one hour what happens is the more you hit it the more it starts being affected in the inside so the more you do things the more you become consistent like at this particular hour you're always doing this at this particular time you're always doing this. something is bound to change no matter how strong your case is no matter how heavy the thing is it will eventually change. So one thing I want you to understand is that God rewards consistency. There are people that he might not see the reason why he should bless you. He might not see the reason why he should do something to you. But out of consistency, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Now, let me tell you, the Bible says that when Moses goes to pray, he carries alongside Joshua with him. And when Moses leaves the temple, Joshua stays there. There was no prophecy at that point in time that Joshua was going to take over Moses. No, there was, there was absolutely no prophecy at that point in time. But out of his devotion and his consistency, there was a need for the passing down of the baton to him. There is somebody right now, you're watching me, you say, Pastor, I've been consistently praying. I've been consistently fasting. I've been consistent, but I don't see anything. When the time comes, the kind of miracle you will be receiving is a miracle that you will not get over it you will not even recover like before you're like oh i'm done with this particular thing god gives you another one. Oh, why am i receiving everything at this point in time <clears throat> what's going on because you had accumulated prayers you had accumulated consistency that is why you see some people when their time of blessings comes it looks like everything is happening in their lives at once oh <sighs> I just entered into something else. This would have this this would have maybe been another message or another prophetic word because I believe it would have helped somebody. But you're watching me right now, and it's of great help to you if at all you do not skip it. Patience is virtue. Every word that is led by the Spirit of God is a blessing. It causes change. This is not even what I was supposed to say. I was just led by the Spirit of God to say this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so right now, what do I do? Okay, what I was supposed to give, I'm going to do it in another prophetic word. But I want to pray with you right now. Now, why am I saying this? Because I think that the time that I have to do this is 
we are almost rounding up. And if I have to start introducing the title, introducing another prophetic word, I don't think it's going to be that reasonable. But I think that I was led by the Spirit of God to talk about consistency and the example and everything. I believe it must have strengthened somebody's faith. You're giving up at this point in time because you're feeling like you've been more consistent than others. But the other people are receiving their blessings. You know, that is what is very annoying. When you're more consistent, when you pray more, but you see other people receiving more, you see other people being blessed more. It's, it's some sort of, I don't really understand, you know, but I want to pray with you. You say, Pastor, I've been consistently praying and I've been believing God for this particular thing in my life. I'm not talking about two things. I'm talking about something that is just one. I've been praying and I've been believing God for this to happen to me. I've been praying and I've wanted this to go on in my life. I've been praying and I really want God to take care of this in my life. You're that person. I want to pray with you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray with my brother. I pray with my sister and I pray for them right now. I pray, Lord, your word says, for when we pray, we know not what we say, but the Spirit make it intercession through groanings that cannot be altered. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you meet them at the very point of their needs. Let every closed door be open right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for an upliftment, a heavy blessing coming upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. One thing I want to remind you, my dear friend, is that God rewards consistency. No matter what you're going through, no matter what is happening to you, when it is your time, it will be your turn. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1, the Bible says there is a time for every purpose and a season for everything. The Bible is never lying. The Bible is always true. God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not come to pass? It is coming to pass in your life. Things are changing for you. Your life is taking a new turn in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if this has been of great help to you, I would beg on you to share this particular video. Always learn to share. God bless you and I would beg on you to pray for me. The enemy is never happy when such secrets are being released because somebody has been praying and is getting discouraged. And yes, the devil would have been so happy if you really got that discouraged. But I believe this has come to energize and strengthen somebody's faith. I would beg that you pray for me as you're led by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Shalom.